Hey guys, it's Shay. Welcome back to my channel where we talk about beauty, nursing, and lifestyle. So we're going to cut right to the chase in today's video. And we are going to be discussing the certifications and licensures needed after you pass your nurse practitioner boards. So if any of you guys don't know, I recently passed my family nurse practitioner boards in the end of July. So I'm going to be sitting here to give you guys not only a timeline, but also the cost of all of the certifications and licensures I got after and this is for the state of New Jersey, and this is for a family nurse practitioner um, certification and licensure. This may apply to other disciplines as well, but mine is going to be very specific to my state and specific to my specialty because I was unable to find a lot of this information online. And I think it's important to know how much money you need and also what kind of timeline I had. If I have any tips to throw in in between, I will do that. But I'm going to try to make this as basic as possible because I want to open up the the comment box to be an open thread if you guys have questions if you guys have concerns please leave them down below and I'll try to be as diligent as possible again this is my experience everybody's experience is not going to be the same but this is just to be a resource for you guys so let's go ahead and get started with my timeline all right so if you guys see me look down I have my planner here which I wrote all the dates for everything that went down so let's first talk about my timeline and as I go through the timeline um, I will pop prices up in this corner if there's any photos I will include them over here and I will give little tips as I go with each piece of the certification so congratulations when you first start because that means you have passed your boards um, if you want information on applying for your boards on which board to take let me know and I can do a video on that also so you guys know I took my boards on 7 27 July 27th and I got my preliminary pass at that date so the first thing I can tell you guys is after you get your preliminary pass go out celebrate congratulations you have passed your boards um, don't think about nothing right then because it's a stressful moment and you just made it and you can finally breathe and have a free mind now one to two days after that, that's when the time clock starts. So we got to get this licensing done so we can start working. So my situation was a little bit, I don't want to say easier, but I already had a job before I started everything. So some of these steps might be different if you don't have a job yet. So just make sure you find out how these differ for you. Um, I took my exam on the 27th. The first thing I did after I took my exam when it showed that my exam was active or that my certification was active by the AANP, I diligently checked the website for the wallet card to get my ID number from the certification board. This is important because you need this to apply to your state. You cannot apply to the state of New Jersey until you pass your boards, until you have a certification number from the board, whether it's the AANP or the ANCC. So just be mindful of that. Many people are waiting for the packet to come in the mail. Guys, I just got my packet in October. My license number was on the website in July. So make sure you go on. If it says that your license is active, you have a license number. Go on there and check for your wallet card. So that is my first step I can tell you guys. Okay guys, so after I gathered everything together, I went ahead and I applied to the state of New Jersey on nj.gov for my advanced practice nurse license. I completed my application on the 2nd of August and received confirmation. And I also paid a fee, which I will put right up here, um, how much I paid for that application. That application required my number from my certifying body. It also included um, information about my background as a nurse and my nursing license. Um, there was fingerprinting information and there was a passport photo. Go on the state website and literally print the checklist before you start working on your application because that will help you be able to get through it without having to have the state go back and forth with you for more information that they need. Try to include as much as you can so you don't have to run into um, other hiccups afterwards. So I applied on the second. I believe on the 16th, I got another invoice from the state of New Jersey for them to rerun or to retrieve my fingerprints that they already had. If you have a registered nurse license in the state of New Jersey, the state of New Jersey already has your fingerprints. So you still have to pay a price 
in my understanding to retrieve that for them and they will send you an invoice so make sure you provide an email that you check frequently so you can get this information so again i applied first to the state on the second i got this invoice for my fingerprinting meaning they were going through my application on the 16th the price that will also be reflected in the last clip that i showed you about the state of new jersey i think was for my whole license guys so right now in the state of new jersey i think due to covid they are waiving a certain fee i think the application fee but you still have to pay i think there's another fee so if i'm not mistaken i think i paid a total of 98.75 to the state but again i will include that price in the corner again here so that price was not just for the retrieval of my fingerprints i know i spoke on that very frequently but just for my state application in general so it can go anywhere I believe from that $98.75 to $150 depending on what's going on in the state with all their regulation and fees at the current time so just be prepared to do the 150 just in case um, but mine like I said got waived because we're going through something with COVID where they're waiving all the application fees for people who are going for LPN, RN, or APN. So after I got that notification from the state, I received a state license number, not in the mail. I was checking the website frequently, nj.gov. I was looking up my name. I was looking at my account every day for my number. None of this guy should be you waiting at the mailbox because the mailbox is gonna take a lot longer than electronics. So I received a license number for the state of New Jersey on September 8th, 2022. So that means it took a total of this many days from the time I first put in my application to the time I received a license number. Um, once I actually did that receipt for my fingerprints, it told me 10 to 15 business days. I X'd off 15 days on my calendar. I circled the 15th day and I said if I did not receive my license number by that date, I would call the state. So make sure you get information on how to contact someone at the Board of Nursing in the event that your documents are not there. You want these documents because you want to start working. Okay guys, the next step was my controlled drug substance license. So you need this in order to be able to prescribe in the state of New Jersey as an APN. So one thing I can tell you is that you have to make sure you take a CDS course first. I took mine, I believe it was at Monmouth University. I believe I paid a total of, I think, $105 or $110. It was an online course. Um, it gave me all the information I needed about controlled substances and prescribing as an APN. And I received a um, certificate at the end to say that I took that course. So I needed that in order to apply for my CDS or controlled drug substance license. So the cost again is here. I did this also through the state of New Jersey website. The ticker with this one is it is not electronic. So it is electronic, but it's not electronic. You download the PDF and you fill out the PDF, but there is an email that's included at the end of that PDF or on the nj.gov website that tells you where to email the application. If you want to mail it, you do have that option. But like I told you guys before, mail takes a lot longer than electronic. So I emailed mine and I received that number on 9:15. So I applied on 9:12 and I received it on 9:15. So that was my timeline for my controlled drug substance license. And I did skip a step in between that I just want to mention to you guys that's important before you do your CDS. And I think I skipped it because it was the only thing that did not have a cost. So that was my MPI. Now, disclaimer here, when you apply for your MPI, and I will include the website down below, it is probable that you should have a location of where you're working. Um, I was told, and I confirmed this before I filmed this video, that if you do use your own address, just know, one, it's a public record, and two, be prepared to change it when you get a job. So the MPI, guys, I can tell you, cost nothing. The day I filled out that application, which was 9-8, was the same day I got an MPI, 9-8. So it is not something I don't think you need to rush on in my opinion unless you have a job. But if you wanna try to have your credentials ready, just be aware that whatever address you use is in public records. So I would probably do a PO box 
if they allow it and I gotta double check the website I would do a PO box if I didn't have a job yet and use the PO box until I transition to a job okay guys so the last thing that was part of my credentialing at least for my part again if you're gonna go be a provider at an institution there was a whole nother part you have to do for them but at least on my part the last part was the DEA this will probably be your most expensive cost I can tell you it here and I can tell you it was $888 at the time I applied because that fee I will not forget. So just be prepared in advance to pay that because I know that can be quite a bit of money for someone especially when you just get done your boards and you know you're just getting back to working full time. It's something you want to try to save up for. So my DEA is an application that you should take your time with and make sure everything is correct because if anything on that application is not correct it is going to take longer for you to get the DEA and the DEA is part of your prescriptive authority so I filled out my DEA application on this 20th of September I paid $888 and I received a DEA number at 6 a.m. on 9-22-22 so that was the steps for that one again this is another application where i advise you have a place of practice before you fill it out um i am not sure how the dea works if you do not have a place of practice yet i don't know if this is one where you can put your own address on so if any of you guys know that information put it down in the comment box so it can help your fellow colleagues okay guys so i think we have covered all the certifications and licensures for the advanced practice nurse in the state of New Jersey. Um, the first thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to total the total cost of all those certifications and place it here. This is not including the cost for my certification, the cost for my prep for my certification, and the cost for my exam. This is just all the certifications after you become a family nurse practitioner. I am also going to go through the timeline again just so you guys can see how long things kind of went in play. So as I spoke of before, I got my AANP number on the 29th. I got my New Jersey license number for an advanced practice nurse on the 8th of September. I got my controlled drug substance license on the 15th of September. I got my NPI on the 8th of September and I got my DEA on the 22nd of September. So this is a process that I started in August, August 2nd, and the process was basically completed by September 22nd. So that's about a month and two weeks if I kind of think of it. So that is the total amount of time, six to eight weeks that it took for me to get all of my licensing intact. All right, guys, so feel free to flood the comment box with questions, concerns, comments. If I'm able to make like a PDF or a cheat sheet to help people out, I will attach that below also. But I will definitely put all the websites for my state and where I filled everything out so it can be a resource to you guys. Um, also, like I said before, just be aware your credentialing and licensing costs start way before this. So you're going to need a little bit more money than the figure I gave you at the end. But that's just the idea of after you pass your boards. And you're still going to need to complete credentialing at the institution where you plan to work. So it does not stop at the DEA. Um, I'm actually still working with where I'm going to be um, doing my practice um, with getting them documents and filling out their applications and things like that so at least when you have all this stuff rolling you save them a lot of the onboarding process but it is a process that you can see takes six to eight weeks so it's something you want to make sure that you communicate to where you're going to be working so they're aware but most of them should be aware because they've worked with providers before so I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel if you are new make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date when I post new videos I'll be taking you guys through my new grad FMP journey along with still doing videos on beauty and lifestyle so if you like what you see make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video